Hey what's going on guys, Core X Designs here and welcome to another 3D Studio Max tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create the uh, carbon fiber material in 3D Studio Max using Mental Ray as your renderer. So right in front of you, you have like an example of the uh, the carbon fiber material. Uh, this is re this is rendered in uh, V-Ray and not three, not Mental Ray, but you can pretty much get the same results using using Mental Ray because uh, you know basic stuff is the same. So um, there we have it. So we can see that we have that carbon fiber material on these rim parts right here, and it, and it really looks cool. However, I have the uh, main uh, model here and you can see that the carbon fiber material is looking very detailed right here and looks pretty cool so first thing you need to do is basically go ahead and download the file in the description below and what that is is basically is three textures uh, and the three types of carbon fiber materials that we, we're going to be using uh, the, these all the three textures are perfectly tileable and that, what that means is basically you can take this you know stack this on top of itself and then on top of itself and then you know on the side and the bottom and it won't look like you stacked them uh, that's the beauty of tileable materials so you can go ahead and create one on your own if you want to but uh, you know since these are already there why not use those so what I'll do basically first thing is I'm gonna hit M to bring up my material editor and on a new material slot I have an arch and design material you can also use an architectural material but it really depends on what you want to do I'm personally going to choose an arch and design material for mental ray Okay, so I'm going to click on this box next to color and I'm going to choose bitmap. And I'm just going to click on one of these uh, carbon fiber materials that we have. So I'm going to click on this carbon underscore angle 2, basically because uh, this actually looks better on my model. Actually, if you have different models, uh, different, you know, different uh, bitmaps might look better on, on your particular model. It actually depends on what, where you're going to use it. For this particular model, carbon underscore angle 2 looks pretty cool so I'm just going to use it so I'm going to hit open right here and uh, there we go so what I'll do is I'll take this material and I'll select all four of these all five of these uh, frame parts and I'll click on this button called assign material to selection replacing the old materials that I have here so right away you, you see that we cannot see any of this uh, any of the materials and there are two reasons why you can't well, the reason you can't see that uh, first reason would be if you go ahead and click on this button show shaded map and viewport and you know that's important to do the second uh, you still can't see it but you know you can see that but so the second thing you need to do is apply a UVW map to this now basically when you model something you don't uh, you don't usually apply UVW maps to this but it, it, it is important for this carbon fiber material to work so what I'll do is I'll just select one of these parts and I'm gonna apply a modifier called UVW map it's also inside of this modifier list okay and it basically you know it sets up according to your model and if you're a beginner you won't actually need to set this up any further it's gonna be perfect so what I'll do really quickly is up apply that UVW map modifier to all five of these parts and we're good to go okay so right now that carbon fiber material doesn't look very uh, very satisfactory right now so the way we do this uh, to make it look better is by increasing the tightening right here so if you go ahead and start to increase the tiling on both of these axes, you'll begin to see what I'm talking about. So I personally use 15 by 20, and that actually looks pretty cool on this on this particular model. But you can actually go ahead and play with these settings depending on what you're trying to achieve. So uh, yeah, that's going to be pretty much it. And uh, if you want to add some more detail to this, basically, for example, if you right now uh, see it, it pretty much looks very good. But if you want some close up to this you see that it looks pretty flat and the way you can fix this basically is go ahead and click on this button called go to parents and move down and apply in, inside the maps uh, uh, special purpose maps rollout click on this none button right here close bitmap and choose the same uh, you know material there same uh, picture there and uh, apply the same tiling also so go 15 by 20 and go back to parent and you know change the uh, size you know size of this to whatever you want so that will basically give it some of somewhat of an edge you know it, it, you won't show it you you won't be able to see it right here but when you render it out it might it, it, it will look better so yeah it's going to be pretty much it for this tutorial uh, one more thing you can try is to change the um, change the texture that we have here so we uh, if we choose this anastropic material you can see that uh, it gives a drastic change to the actual look of the material and if you choose the third one, it's actually kind of like a uh, intermediate between the first and the second. 
So yeah, depending on your model, you might want to use different different bitmaps for the uh, for the overall look to for the overall look. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. I think this is gonna be pretty much it. If you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up down below. Share the video with your friends, favorite the video, and subscribe to my channel. And uh, yeah, thanks thanks for watching, everyone, and uh, have a nice day.